everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hello my name is amy and welcome to a really exciting video so i am going to be tie dyeing my own tracksuit i'm really excited um this was actually inspired by chintzia because she has um she uploaded a picture wearing these really nice like satin tie dye pajamas um i think they're from asos but they're sold out but i really really wanted them and then I thought, oh my god, I've got an old like white hoodie and a pair of white joggers that I never wear because I've got two pairs. Why don't I try and make a tie-dye tracksuit? I think that would be so cute. So I hopped onto Amazon and I basically picked up this tie-dye kit. Um, I, don't, I think it was like £15. And it comes with, I'll show you. So in the pack, you've got four bottles of all your colours. So you've got... Um, pink, turquoise, yellow and purple. It gives you elastic bands and it gives you rubber gloves, which is good. Um, as you can see by the box, these are all really, really bright colours and I want to do pastel. So what I'm going to do is empty like half the contents of each of these into these pots and save this for like another day and then just use those and then obviously whenever if this goes well i'll then use these ones for something else i'm gonna like set up outside i'm literally wearing minimal clothing because i don't want to dye anything else and um, so yeah i'm gonna just empty those pots and then fill read the instructions and see how to fill up those bottles okay do not add water to the powder mix until you're ready to tie dye okay right let's go put elastic Right, it says don't add the water until you're ready to dye. So I'm going to go ahead and put the elastic bands around my tracksuit. I have actually brought my tripod out, but I didn't bring the tripod adapter. So I'm just going to try and balance you. So these are the bottoms that I'm going to be doing, just plain white. And this is the hoodie again, plain white. And the way that I, the technique that I want to do is called scrunching. So you literally just scrunch the tracksuit up and then put elastics around it so what we're doing is we're just scrunching like this I think you basically want to just get there as many folds in there as possible Okay, right, gloves are going on. I feel like these are kids' gloves. Nope. Right. So it says it fill the dye all the way. Fill. Yeah, so the more you fill, the less intense it's going to be. So we'll just play it by ear. And I'll add a little bit and then we'll have a look and see. Right, I'm pretty sure that's way too intense to what I want. What I might have to do I don't know, is tip some away and then fill it up because look, that's so dark. These are the three. I'm going to leave that one for a second. And I'm going to empty out some of the powder in each bottle and then I'm going to fill those ones up and then we'll come back to the purple because it's just confusing me. Okay. I've just spent the last about half an hour diluting and diluting and diluting and diluting the bottles. It's literally taking me forever. Um, they're just not going that pastel, but then I'm thinking some might wash out when I rinse it. So I don't want to take it too light and then it completely wash out and I'm left with like really, really light um, clothes. Although that would look kind of nice, wouldn't it? Like really light it's like a really light pastel. Now I'm thinking to just dilute them all a little bit more. This is really difficult. I'm going to dilute them a tiny bit more. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Right, I'm going to take this. I'm scared. Right, I'm going to do the joggers first. So, they said start with the lightest colour, which is yellow, and then they also that I've scrapped the purple one because on the leaflet it says that brown and yellow, uh, yellow and purple will make brown, 
and I don't want brown, so. Right, here we see how bright it's coming out. Oh, well, crevices and squirt it in. Squirt it. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Because don't forget I've got the hoodie to do as well, so I don't want to use it all. I'm actually going to do them at the same time so that I know. Okay, yellow is complete. Okay, I've done my yellow. Now I'm gonna go in with the pink. Oh, I'm scared, I'm gonna go over like all the white. Yeah, okay. And finally I'm going in with the blue. I don't want to be too, put too much of this on it. I'm going to do it a bit sparingly because I'm going to just try and do it on the really white bits because I don't know. Ah, this looks so cute though. If this comes out cute, it's going to be so such a vibe. Although the only thing I'm thinking now is it wasn't a nice tracksuit that I really liked. The like fit of. So I'm going to have to do it again <laughs> to a nice tracksuit if I really, really like it. Yeah. I'm just hoping that it sinks through and like that I'm not going to open it and there'll be like big white patches. Okay gang, they look better than I could have wanted, like colour wise, they are perfect. So now we just need to hope that one, the colour doesn't wash out, and two, when I take the elastic bands off there's no white patches and that they look amazing. So now I'm going to leave them, I think it says to leave them for um, a f like 8 hours but I might undo them tomorrow morning instead. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed, eek! Okay guys, and welcome back to the video so excuse my hair it's damp i'm just letting it dry because i'm trying not to put heat on it you know how it is um so we are back with oh is that lighting this up yeah so i'm in my bathroom so the lighting's a little bit off but we are back with the tie dye so i'm gonna take the bands out now and reveal what they actually look like and then i'm going to rinse it with cold water and then i think we have to put them in the wash but we have to put them in separately so i'm just going to do like a light wash on them like and um, with cold water so we have to rinse them with cold water just to get excess dye out i'm hoping that the color isn't going to fade too much and um, i want it to fade but i don't want it to fade too much um so yeah i'm gonna take the bands out now let's see and if it works then i'm gonna do more so Oh, it's quite white. Oh, I just sat on a wet patch. No. It's quite, um... Okay, it's got quite a lot of white on it. Where there's, like, no colour. Oh, God. Look how white that is. Uh, okay. Okay, that's one leg. It looks kind of cool. There's a lot of white on it, though. A lot of white. <laughs> So I think for next time I just really need to square it into the creases a bit more maybe. I think I almost need to go back in and like scrunch, go over bits. But apart from that it does look good. 
but I definitely think like yeah that sleeve is like completely white on the back but the front is like obviously tie dyed well it's got loads of grass on it because I did it on the grass um, but yeah right let's rinse these out okay so I'm gonna go and stick them in the wash machine and then let them dry and I will show you, I'll put them on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I may have outdone myself with this track suit. So as you can say, I'm wearing it. Just give you a pan, excuse my messy room. So this is the track suit. I don't know how well you can see. So cute. Yeah, so this is the tracksuit. I'm so happy with it. I think it could have been a little bit more colourful. But I think like the colours are so nice. It really paid off like doing all that like diluting of the colours because it looks so good. Yeah. This is the tracksuit. I'm obsessed with it. It looks so good. I love it. So nice. Um, but yeah, I'll obviously insert a picture as well. Stuck on my hair out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was short, all right. I'm actually going to edit it now and get up for tomorrow, which is Sunday the 18th. So if you're watching this on Sunday the 18th, then hello. Hi. I filmed this yesterday. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to get up and edit it. Look how nice these colours are. This is like my Instagram feed right now. I'm doing all like pastels. So this is going to fit in fabulous. So I'm going to get some pictures. I was going to get pictures tomorrow, but... Now it's on, I might try and get one today. Who knows? Anyway. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I am going to try and maybe make some more items. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If I, I might... I don't know, I've got spare, um, I've still got spare dye left, so I will probably make something soon, or see if my friends want any film, want anything, um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was easy to follow, um, if you do make anything, then make sure you tag me in any pictures on Instagram, because I'd love to see what you create and how it looks, Pablo, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm so I'm so happy with it. Like I'm so happy with it. I hope you guys love it as well. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a uh, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all very soon for another video. And um, make sure you check me out on Instagram as well. Because I'll be posting lots of pics of how I style this, etc. And everything like that on Instagram as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.